Hi, this is Gary. I guess I can be officially called uh, KC9RUB. Um, showing the progress on my future workbench and uh, my little ham co radio corner. Uh, it's the stuff that's sitting in here is only for show. It's all propped right now because I still got uh, sanding and uh, uh, painting and staining and uh, light more lighting to put in. Uh, but this is how the project's coming along. Um, up here, you'll notice uh, my AVM Electronics sign. That was the official name of the business that I ran when I did uh, VCR and television repair. I had a little shop in the small town near here. I ran that for a while. Uh, but uh, it, uh, the throwaway society uh, was just really coming into vogue with uh, the big uh, giant outlet stores and cheap v VCRs and cheap televisions. And that kind of put me out of business. But uh, that's a relic I have and I needed to mount it in here. Now you're looking at the surface of my, my will-be workbench. You can see how far along I've got it. It's uh, oak uh, face plywood top. It'll be uh, stained and polyurethaned. And this corner right here, there's going to be some more oak going in there, but that's where the uh, uh, light and magnifying glass uh, is going to go uh, uh, for me to be able to see things uh, uh, clearly and be able to work on uh, small circuit boards but that's where that's going to go I've worked with those for years and in all the years I've done electronic repair and uh, that's why this corner looks the way it does uh, you can see I have shelves for equipment um, this shelf up above this is an L-shaped shelf that goes all the way from this part of the building around and it goes down to the corner above my ham uh, nook or corner and then it makes uh, an L turn and goes back into where my Wurlitzer theater pipe organ uh, stuff is. This is just the power uh, end of the Wurlitzer organ. The regulators, uh, tremolo, tremolo units are all in this area here. But I've got enough room here to sit and set up my ham table and my electronics uh, work area uh, as you see. Here we're at the east end of my working area. Down below, let me see if I can get a little bit of a video down there. Uh, that's where things like uh, cases uh, will go in there, things that are in suitcase type instrumentation or whatever, whatever I have like that will set on those shelves. But right on this end here, I'm going to make a different kind of shelf from the wall into this 2x4. And my old antique Halicrafters SX42 receiver is going to sit down there. Because somewhere in this vicinity, I'm going to at least have a novice type uh, CW uh, rig set up so I could do some CW on 40 and 80 meters. Although, you know, I'm... <laughs> I'm fairly uh, vintage as far as my personage is concerned and I had a novice license in 1965. I just got my technician license which is uh, KC9RUB and I am I still think I'm just a novice. So I'm going to study for my general privileges but in the meanwhile I'm going to see if I can uh, uh, get some contacts if I can with my ponderously slow CW techniques. Maybe I can speed it up a little bit. But that's where the SX42 will sit. Here is the corner desk I built. That, that is where my main ham radio gear will sit. You can see I have an ICOM 756 uh, Pro down there. And above is a Swan 500 uh, C. It's a special uh, that I bought. I had a swan that I was going to use before uh, I abandoned the hobby back in 1968, I think it was. And uh, so I, I got that for more or less for nostalgic reasons. Above it is a Kenwood TS700SP. 
The SP, of course, stands for uh, the fact that it, instead of just a tuning dial, it actually has a frequency counter in it. It's not turned on. This stuff's just propped in here for now. Um, here is a Hammond clock. And this particular clock, uh, uh, if anybody knows the Hammond Organ Company, before they became the Hammond Organ Company, they were the Hammond Clock Company. And that's a genuine Hammond clock. Now you can find those in real sh resale shops. They're, they're fairly common. This one is not that unusual, but it's very special to me because it was given to me as a gift from one of the engineers, uh, the late uh, uh, Alan Young, who worked for Hammond and Alan Young I knew him for years he was a friend of mine and that's one of the things he gave me so this Hammond clock will will sit in my ham corner here my ham radio corner and uh, it's one of the few pieces of uh, <laughs> of old things that I have that I'm especially fond of this window sits to the left of my ham uh, corner here uh, right above it I'm going to drill through and put PVC pipe straight from the inside of the house outside and there's where the uh, RG8 coax cables, there will be several of them because I'll have more than one antenna. I live out in the country so I have you know, fairly liberal uh, 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 access to put up uh, various kinds of antennas and I will have several. But that's where mo the main part of all of my cables for the antennas will pass through. I have PVC pass-through tubes going from inside here to the outside, and then, of course, uh, they'll go up to the various antennas. Down below the uh, desk, I have an IBM e-server that I rescued uh, uh, from going to the junk. Um, the monitor will sit above it on the desk. But that's where my uh, computer for this uh, part of the uh, uh, room will sit for, for my technical use. And it'll be online. I'll be able to, to do anything I want to do with it online. But it's an IBM e-server. Um, quite a nice one. It has SATA hard drives in it. It's not uh, IDE. It's SATA. And uh, I was very happy to be able to rescue it. It'll be a nice uh, uh, piece of equipment and it'll probably uh, give me good service for several years. Now again behind me where I will sit at my hand corner uh, there's a regulator for, for my theater pipe organ, my Wurlitzer, a Wurlitzer trim. Uh, these trims are not Wurlitzer, they're, they're uh, another brand. But these are the, uh, the, the trims for my organ. Uh, there is also a small regulator up here and trim and uh, another regulator over there um, for the organ. Uh, regulators everywhere actually. There's two big regulators around the corner that you can see. You can just see the blower over there. Um, once this gets all cleaned up and a lot of these uh, two by fours and stuff will be shellac with orange shellac. But uh, this will look quite nice when it's done. I'm just uh, doing this video to show the progress um, again. My, uh, my ham radio corner, how it will look. It will probably be a few more pieces of equipment sitting in it besides the computer and computer keyboard. It's a little tight. Uh, it's not like some ham shacks I've seen uh, live and also on the internet, but when I was a kid or uh, uh, just learning about ham radio, my Elmer in the 1960s, he had a stunning radio shack. Uh, uh, he was running Collins gear. He had uh, a homebrew amplifiers, uh, very high-powered amplifiers. I really wish I would have taken pictures of it. He's long gone now. He died in 1970. But uh, I wish I would have had pictures of uh, uh, his ham shack. Uh, he was one of the first people that got me started in ham radio.